A new year. A new episode. From Save Some For Us. Episode 6. A local Facebook group has invited us over to take part of one of their get-togethers where they're creating signature dishes for us to try out, but we're running a little late. Over here, we're going to try out some food from 2-0 Holy Grail Munchies. They got a pretty good following. They try to hold their, their different cooks to different high standards. Uh, we're going to try a little bit of everything. So uh, that's what we're doing here. Jake, ready to try? I don't know. They got a bunch of different stuff for us, I think. To yeah, try. I don't I don't know what to, I just showed up. Me too. We well, just literally woke up. Literally, yeah. Just I just kicked the door down. Yep. Wake your ass up. Oh, You're oh boy. Passed out. <laughs> <laughs> This is Chef Justin Westmoreland. Justin's one of the founders of 210 Holy Grail Munchies. He's also the owner operator of Justin's Soul Kitchen. He's the one who's put this all together and invited us over tonight. He's created a few signature dishes for us to try out. First up is his chicken piccata. This is my uh pineapple whiskey bourbon glaze that I'm going to drizzle on top of the chuck steak sliders mm -hmm. and with the melted mustard cheese on a toasted Hawaiian bun from the grill. The same spot that the burgers came off of. Totally fresh. Yeah, that's real pineapple chunks that are charred on top of the grill uh, with real Rebecca Creek Texas whiskey aged mm -hmm. in, a, in a black molasses uh, combination that is just hard to beat. I love Rebecca's cream. Add, to add a little bit of uh, excitement to an already great exquisite dish, I've got some orange marmalade glazed, slow cooked, crispy brown sugar bacon that we're gonna put on top of the slider with all its glorious nature in the glaze. I have already Sested some lemon uh, peel for the chicken. Got it to perfection. So it's got that great lemon flavor. Now, most people, they say that uh, this is a delicate process. The chicken, the timing of everything has got to be done in stages perfectly. This is one of those dishes that you really want to serve fresh to the table as quick as possible because this is one of those dishes that's just as good as it can be fresh from the pan, the best experience. All right. <clears throat> now we're gonna drizzle some capers in here. Gonna crank that heat up. And let our chicken piccata absorb. You want to take those capers and you want to get the juice and everything drizzled on top of it. Most people do their piccata roux a little thicker than I do. The only reason I don't is because I want my organic fresh chicken to retain its flavor with that lemon zest breading so that that's the uh, main flavor profile that you receive on the first bite. We're going to let that sit for about three minutes absorb the, the citrus and let the white wine and everything come together and break it down. And I'm gonna serve it fresh to you guys. Biscuit, stuffed biscuit. So the inside? Yes, sir. It always looks like a ball of dough to people. But uh, when you bite into it, it becomes this amazing uh, I was so rude in his face. <laughs> I'm gonna be ordering a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if you're tired of Jack in the Box and TC and Whataburger and IHOP, check these guys out. 2 and 0 Holy Grail, Munchies. Munchies. On Facebook. Not 
y'all know my trust personally. Some of these groups, they held each other accountable. Yeah, you get a good product. Somebody takes pride in their food. I love what we do, bro. I'm so glad we started deciding. It's time to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> bro, it's good. I'm not dry at all. It's just. I just like it's flaking apart of my mouth. <laughs> the chicken's good, bro. A lot of flavor to it, too. The story that I want to create Jeez, keep behind, <laughs> my, behind my food, uh, people should know I'm 36 states traveled. Uh, I've been cooking since I was 13, but I started as a sous chef at 18 for a place in East Tennessee called The Market. Um, they're just amazing in the fact that they do gluten-free, organic, free-range, exotic meats like elk, bison, rabbit, quail. Uh, I also got my start learning to butcher, so now I know good cuts of meat. Um, I pick out my meat locally. We support local vendors, local produce, food trucks, small business. We don't support corporations of any kind because they have a tendency to treat people like a number. So the dream and the vision in starting this group is to have the most reputable community where people have big hearts and whether it be a dollar or a prayer or anything that they can contribute, that they're willing to step out and show the community that they are loved and that we can answer the call of when people go in need of things. In the last month, we've been a part of the Baby Mila fundraiser. They raised 270,000 for Baby Mila's leukemia treatment. Uh, which is all the time. Tell me, tell me all, all the time. All the time. Um, we do a lot of great things in this group. It's not just food, but when it comes to food, I hold people to a high expectation that I would do for, for people of my caliber and my customers. Uh, the story behind my food is that I'm well-traveled and I've seen a lot of heritages. I've seen a lot of cultures. And what I want to convey to people is the authenticity and uniqueness for traditional dishes you're not going to find anywhere else. So when you come to JSK, Justin Soul Kitchen, you're going to have a unique experience that just sets it all off. All right, yeah, my first time is amazing. But like the food's great, but then here everything like to help people. I mean, y'all already don't know me, but I've, I've been working in crisis for a long time with kids, and I've seen just I've seen i seen some of the greatest things in the world through working with people, and I've seen some of the harshest things in the world. It's just it's like I know you're busy, bro. I hear I see you're busy all the time, and to hear you're going and taking time out of your day to go do something like that, it's amazing. It's easier said than done. A lot of people want to do it, and they say they will do it. And, oh yeah, I'm a, I got you, bro. Let me know if you need anything. There's some people that already go through with it, and some people that don't. Absolutely. That's awesome, bro, to see. And like, I'm, just, I'm too more blessed to eat this food. Now, what do, what do, what do, how do I do it? Like, just oh, just cut, cut the biscuit cut in half, open. give the viewers a view of the stuffed biscuit, and then take a bite, and go ahead and break it down for me. Let's see, let's see. That is a flaky, light, thin crust. Oh my goodness, Full of bro. homemade beef stroganoff <laughs> with a three cheese blend, including rear cheese. Oh yeah, yeah. I love cheese, bro. Cheese. Most people oh do. Oh my yeah. god. So he tells me, you make some of that fat, that's good, that's some cheese. Yeah. Some fat. <laughs> I feel like keep adding fat to things to make it, make it better. I'm just gonna go in huh? on this. this is... Man, getting back to old school days. Mom will make it hammer helper. Boom! Boom. Oh. Grab a piece of bread. Mmm. It's so good though. <laughs> it's so so good. Those came out of the oven about 15 minutes before you got here. Just enough time to rest and reach perfection. Everything about this dish except for the pasta is from scratch. What? Including the beef stroganoff gravy. You gotta do a little of this. Oh absolutely. <laughs> they have to take it in. How we do it on say so for us, baby. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> These guys deliver. <laughs> they deliver. Check it out. Y'all, we got more to show y'all. It's <laughs> amazing. Next up, one of the other chefs made her signature dish. Her chicken stuffed pasta shells that looked absolutely amazing. But before that, they ended up surprising us with a little gift. Uh 
taught me everything I know, and without her, this wouldn't be possible. My dream would not be coming true because my grandmother, she, I had a good role model growing up. <laughs> That's awesome. I, like, I, like I told you earlier, I work with kids, and I don't think that, I don't, I don't assume that anymore for anybody, because I've seen so many people that don't, they don't have a good role model. They don't have that one person. They just have I me. Mean, Good. That's one thing that, that a lot of people in the culinary community have in common is they, they had somebody who, you know, who, who knew how to cook in the family, something, you know, who, who kind of passed it down, you know. Yeah, it's great. that love for the cooking and food, you know. Yeah. Oh, man. Look, look at this, bro. <laughs> you see? So it's uh, stuffed shells with chicken, cream cheese, a little bit of Alfredo sauce, some Cajun seasoning in there. You got some spinach. And a little kind of like roach tail type of thing, little onions, little mm. um, jalapenos, and tomatoes. You can't get, you can't get this in, and no in the box. That's for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, man. 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 Oh, I'm gonna tell you right now, I can endorse her as one of the top people in my group. She's so universal on so many heritage and cuisines from around the world like myself. Amazing. Uh, I have yet to have anything even closely coming to disappointing to her from her end. I don't think I ever will. I don't uh, think so either. I, I, I just go everywhere with my food. Some days you're gonna get soul food, you're gonna get some fried chicken, some macaroni. Greens, yeah, greens, greens, tomatoes, 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 I can eat and enjoy oh my without goodness. worrying. This is a clean, this is a clean dish. So this this is a clean dish to where it's gonna cleanse your palate of whatever you're basically eating before because it tastes so fresh. It's so good. There's there's just like so much flavor. It's it's filling too. Like very. It's, it's it's very satisfying. It's refreshing to me to have something so good. Never been. I mean, we've been going to some places, but this is really good. We'll save some room because there's a lot of work going on. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're supposed to stop. This is going to be the assembly of my sliders. Slider that I sell. It's a crab ragoon inside of a jalapeno popper wrapped in bacon smoked on the grill uh, with charred pineapple inside of a wonton, then wrapped in bacon again, put in the fryer. Are you guys ready for this? This is the magic right here. You always want your glaze almost syrupy. So that way it access it accents any barbecue meat perfectly. We're gonna give a little mush down. Make sure you get a little bit of evenness per bite. And then to add insult to injury, like a train wreck at 70 miles an hour on the highway, we're gonna come in swinging with this bacon topped on top, which is so hard to get because people ruin bacon all day long. I never understood that either. It, it, you would think that macaroni and bacon are two things that people can do, but a lot of people nope. mess it up. So <laughs> <they make them. laughs> Even cooled down and sitting, this bacon is still soft, malleable, mm -hmm. coated with that brown sugar and orange marmalade glaze. Perfect. Guys, my sliders are bigger than most. Uh, anybody who's ever had a plate for me knows that my portions are Texas size. I've done over 1,500 plates in five weeks. I have no bad reviews. And 
not one person has ever said they didn't get full or they had a complaint about my portions. So that should tell you the kind of quality portion. I treat people like I treat myself. So when I serve a plate, when I when I when I deal with somebody in words or actions, I treat I always think how would I want to be treated? We're gonna put a couple of sliders on here for you. Let you go to town and break down what you think of these things. <laughs> hold on, hold on, real, real quick. Bruh, this is, this is, this is a thumbnail, bruh. Justin, that shit was good, bruh. Whatever you made right here, whatever that is right there. I haven't come up with a name for it yet. I just, right now, I'm referring to it as my Southern Bacon. That's my favorite part of the process. Once you get to the point where you just give it like a nice, nice fancy name, mm -hmm. make it, you know. It's smoky, it's sweet, and there's still bacon. Look at that, brother. So the bar bar barbecue and burger joints that I'm into, I always think to myself, man, you know, it'd be really even over the top notch if they had this. Or, uh, you know, they could have a little bit of bacon right here in this, man. And so, now that I'm, I'm my own business owner, now that I run a successful Facebook group full of great hearts, uh, those ideas that I've had throughout the years and those times that I said, wow, this could really use this and it would just be perfect, now I'm doing it. Um, but, uh, uh, my menu is definitely hinged around what the people want to see. Uh, but these kinds of creations, this, this is only about a, the menu that I've had for the past 30 days is only about a quarter of what I'm showcasing over the next year. Uh, we haven't even got to my desserts yet. You guys are just trying a couple of my uh, entrees. I've been hearing about the watermelon pie, bro. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, Everybody been talking about watermelon pie, bro. What? This, this pie, it feels sinful. It feels like with every bite, you are definitely doing something and going against God. Yeah, it's better than my other, But, fun fact, the graham cracker crust is healthy. The, 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 the pie filling is light and healthy. There's only about a tablespoon of real brown sugar in there. The rest is real fruit and spices blended to perfection in a pie filling. So it's actually engineered for Thanksgiving when you're so full but you want a dessert and you just don't think you have enough room, you take one bite and again, it satisfies that sweet tooth. It's so light and you actually feel like you had a good dessert without any of the negative effects following. First time I had it, he gave me two slices. One for me, one to take back to my husband and taste. They didn't even make it home. Yeah, in the comments, please hit you with that again. People that are in the group already know everybody else is about to find out about this pie. I don't want to have another mishap. I didn't think it was this live, bro. Like, even the cut, I was like, okay, it's sticking now. I'm like, no, it's not. Mm. How many if there's fresh watermelon in a pie? It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. There's a lot of flavor. I can't believe it. So, watermelon is frozen, right? Yes, sir. On a hot Texas summer oh day, so this good. is one of those things that's going to refresh you cool you down and help bring everything back to focus from the irritating heat. This will bring a smile to your face when you're having a bad day. Uh, after the first week of selling these, it went from selling pie slices to selling more pies than I can produce in a day. Uh, I see why the crust is good, man. The crust is like a pretty cookie. <laughs> it's so light. breather even though you're eating in between the next dish. That's so good. That's, oh man. It's not like artificial, bunch of artificial watermelon no. flavors. No. It's, you can tell it's fresh. It's, 
And then you buy the fresh piece of watermelon, so it's like it's super fresh. Y'all better get those cash apps ready. <laughs> you gotta try this, bro. Get on that. I should have drug it all longer so you can get to taste it first. Yeah, right. Bro. Sometimes I go crush first. Hey, that, there's nothing wrong with that. That's how chefs do it. They start from the back. Hey. <laughs> That's really dope. Thank you, brother. That's really dope. I told my boy. I can't imagine eating that like on a nice summer day. Oh, yeah. You know? When you're angry, too. When the heat's got you angry, mm -hmm. this just helps bring a smile to your face, and all of a sudden, people are going to see an instant change in you. Like, what just happened? Oh, oh yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it gets a little better than this watermelon pie. Oh, what? My knife. <laughs> so I wanna show you guys this here. This is two glazes separate, okay? You have on the bottom, you have a strawberry glaze. On top of that glaze, if you can see in between here, um, there is an orange marmalade glaze, homemade in the pan, on top of that. This graham cracker crust, homemade all day, as you can tell. Look at that. Malleable, shapeable, but firm, enough to keep your fruit and everything intact. The fruit on here, obviously, I've used watermelon chunks, kiwi chunks, banana chunks, and pineapple chunks, because I think that would be the best combination for the glaze. So I'm gonna serve you guys up a slice, and you can really break it down. <laughs> I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out how I can do my job plus my job too. So, Y'all hire me? I'm not the biggest fresh fruit guy, but every team you make, bro, I'm gonna eat that. We're here for the live. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna tell everybody. I'm gonna tell everybody. We're gonna drive down the highway yelling it. It's like a little cookie dessert, but it's kind of a cookie, and then I don't know. It's just, it just tastes like a bunch of fruit on top of it. It just tastes like one thing, like you're biting one thing, and then it tastes like you're biting, you know, watermelon and, and pineapple and kiwi and this and that. Just like one awesome flavor, and then you keep biting it, and then you get heat, and there's a kiwi, and there's a pineapple. And I got some of this glaze. And then the bottom with the homemade, the ground cracker, it's not just, you know, I can tell you pressed it out on this and then he made it, he built it on this, you know, foil. Exactly, it's, I did. It's amazing. It's, you take your time to put into this, you know, you're working to this, it's going to show. If I ordered you once, I'm going to order you twice, yeah. for sure. So I take, if y'all have order from Dustin before, y'all are still skeptical, y'all come try it. I just met all these people today. It's, it's legit. It's great for itself. Like, no fluff about it. Everything y'all done and showed us today. We tell y'all put love into it. We tell y'all y'all care to showcase yourselves. And not just that. It's not just about making money. Like this is good stuff. Come from your grandma. Come from your auntie. Come from you know your travels. It's amazing. So we came two and zero Holy Grail munch. The treatment was great. Great hospitality. Justin and Shakima. They care about the food. I mean, if you care about the food, it shows in the food. Yeah, it was a great night. We both didn't know what to expect nah, coming out here. Um, yeah, it's great. Home cooking. Uh, a lot of flavor, right. period. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, we were about 45 minutes Everything was late to what we, we scheduled. We're about 45 minutes late, so some of the things were a little bit, you know, a little bit, you know, we're a little bit late, so they're still great. I mean, I still had the slider, the slider was, my hands still still. <laughs> Yeah, that glaze. That it, was, glaze. it was good though, bro. I was like, I was like, I don't want to lick it and be ugly, and then I try it. All right, <laughs> it, was, it was good. I've been seeing that they've been selling out, so I wasn't surprised like that. But I, I seen that they were selling out, so I'm glad we came. Glad we reached out. We're not just doing restaurants. I'm trying to give everybody a shot. All right, it's good. Food. Local, like this is this is local. local as as I guess. Yeah, yeah. cooking okay, from their their own house, from their own. Invited into his home. Yeah, it wasn't just his kitchen. It was his home, and it made me feel welcome. And you could tell that he helps his people in his group out. And all this stuff y'all could get too. Like, I mean, y'all could order it. Like, they deliver all, I mean, there's no restaurant. It's on Facebook and you, they'll deliver it to you. 
if we wanted to come show y'all that it's clean, they do it right. My boy was wearing his gloves, his mask the whole time. Made me feel safe. He kept switching out the dishes. Me and our kind of shared stuff, but we've been around each other. We're, I mean, we're, if we're quarantined, we're, we're quarantined together. Man. We're, we're, you got it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> not like that. Not like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel really confident. I, I don't mind telling y'all to try Justin's food, try Shakima's food. Uh, we're, we might come back. We might come back and do another one. I mean, he has more chefs in the group, more cooks in the group, more people that are selling. And they all seem more than willing to, to put their food up there because it's good stuff. So There's so much more stuff that they have. I mean, it's, it's one of those things you can tell you're around people who love food. Just like us, yeah. I want you to try this, or I want you to try that. And like, yeah, you know, did you try this? I don't know, but you gotta wait, that guy. I was like, tried recipes, do different stuff, and everything. So it's good. It's all yeah, great. I heard him talking right. Yeah, I'll, we'll go one awesome. for one on recipes. That was that was cool. Just like, well, I'll trade you. We we'll go one for one. Like, but y'all y'all trading recipes? <laughs> but <laughs> so it seems great. You know, it seems like a great you know great community. It's 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 about the food. It's about uh, um, you know good good food, making good food. You know, not cutting corners, uh, having the seed. I mean, the seasoning's there, and just adding. There's a lot of a lot of times where they were adding flavors, adding different things. That's once you have the seasoning down, you can you can start doing that stuff. You can like tell that. that they they try different stuff when they're making their stuff too. Like, so I put a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and a little rotel ish kind of stuff. I was like, tell me more. That's sitting away from y'all. I don't cook as much. I like to cook and barbecue. I like that, but I can see that y'all have a passion for it. And just seeing, I was kind of sitting back. Drinking my milk, chocolate berry, lemon lame. Well, you have a passion Kiwi for it too. Punch. It's a different passion. Well, I got a passion for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a passion for it. I got a passion for it. But uh, it's, it's more of it's, 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 it's a food love. You call thing. me out, bro. It's a food love thing. So you love food. Yeah. Shout out House of LaRosque. We out. <laughs>